So what you're doing in this process is that MetaMask is basically a client-facing app, you know, between you, the user, and the blockchain world. So today, guys, we are talking about MetaMask and how to add Binance Smart Chain Network to MetaMask. That's right. So this falls into our category of how to overview. So please, machine, let's get straight into matters. Can you tell us how to connect MetaMask to the BSC network? Of course. So first, this assumes that you have MetaMask installed. First thing you want to do is open up this Binance Academy webpage. Uh, there's going to be things that you need to copy and paste. So link is in the description below. Yep. So what you want to do is go down to the section where it says Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. Here, you're just going to copy a few values. So have this handy and open. So next up, you're going to open your MetaMask. Uh, we recommend you open on a new browser. We will do that for our case. And by default, you'll see that it's connected to the Ethereum network on the top right. So when you click on it, you'll see a dropdown of these different names. These are all just test names on the Ethereum network, so you can ignore these for now. So now, in order to add a new network, you're going to hit that very bottom option called Custom RPC. Okay. So once you hit this, right, you're going to be given a series of fields that you can input. Now, Mr. Human, what do you think we need to do here? Fill them up. Just copy paste exactly. from, from, from the place you mentioned before. Mm. Yep. So just copy and paste everything word for word. Don't try to manually type it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you're doing in this process is that MetaMask is basically a client facing app, you know, between you, the user and the blockchain world. So it's like the middleware layer. Now, by default, it's connected to Ethereum. However, it can connect to many other blockchains, for example, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, you know, Heco Chain, XYZ. So the process is very similar for all these other chains. Okay, so it's super important that, that, that uh, our viewers understand this, right? MetaMask is actually an interface, right, between them and blockchain, blockchains, not just one every blockchain possible, right? And it's super important that they choose the correct blockchain, otherwise they're not going to find the assets, right? Or, or whatever they are doing in a very specific blockchain. Am I correct? That is correct. Different blockchain, completely different network. You have to do things properly on whatever network that you're interacting with. Yeah, okay. So in this case, we are adding a blockchain to your MetaMask, right? So people can use, uh, they, they can use the BSC or Binance Smart Chain uh, blockchain. Correct. And the reason why people do this is because one, Ethereum is way too costly right now in terms of gas and transaction fees. And then BSC is a very popular alternative where you can do lots of DeFi for much, much cheaper. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And just this is a simple, stupid question. What is why people wouldn't just use Binance? You know, like when I first started doing this, like if I have a Binance, or, you know, like account on the Binance exchange, why do I need to have a MetaMask with, with the BSC uh, blockchain? So please explain this one for people like me. Yeah. So in DeFi, decentralized finance, it's you need a wallet like MetaMask that is a decentralized wallet. With Binance, it's a centralized exchange, and hence you cannot directly interact with the DeFi apps. Okay, okay, perfect. Got it. Yeah. So once you've copy and pasted all of these values, you're going to go ahead and click Save. Now you will see Smart Chain appear in your network list. So you can actually easily switch between Ethereum, Smart Chain, and any other networks that you decide to add later on. So it's really important that you always look at the top right and check that you're on the smart chain whenever you're using Binance Smart Chain apps. Okay, sure, gotcha. Yeah, you will also see the BSC logo in yellow just to make sure that you're on the right network. 
Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, so every time you go like to a DeFi, like a liquidity pool or something, right, you have to make sure that the MetaMask is on the right blockchain so then you can interact with that uh, liquidity pool, for example. Yes, exactly. And of course, every time you make a transaction, you'll be paying the gas fees in BNB for Binance Smart Chain instead of Ethereum, which is only for Ethereum chain. Okay. Okay, so it's always super important to have some BNB, right, to power all these transactions. That is correct. Otherwise, you cannot do anything, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's happened to me so many times. <laughs> exactly. And not with BNB, with ETH, man. It was so costly. So, okay, it good. Is. So, what is next? Add token. Exactly. So, we just talked about BNB. However, if you're doing DeFi, most likely you're going to be using lots of other types of tokens, you know, stable coins, cake, bake, or whatever you want. So how do you add the tokens just to make sure that it shows up in your MetaMask? Because we get a lot of questions. They send or receive these tokens, but it doesn't show up in your MetaMask and people are freaking out. No, it's actually there. It's just the way MetaMask is, it doesn't show. So you have to manually add the token to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so a normal a normal account, you open your wallet and you see the bills, right? the notes, right? And you can have a dollar and a yen and a yuan and a baht and it's all there. This one is like you put money, but it's visible only until you name the actual, uh, what, what you're actually holding in your wallet, right? It's there, but it's as if it's invisible until you add the token to your to your MetaMask wallet, right? Yeah. But don't be too concerned okay. because this is only for MetaMask and I'm sure they're going to update this in the future. So it's just for mm, knowing. Sure. Yeah. For now. Okay. Okay. What's next? Yeah. So here's an example. Let's say you want to add a USDT stablecoin into your wallet. Now, the way you can get the token IDs is you can go to a website called bscscan.com. And this is like the public blockchain explorer. So you can simply type in a USDC, for example, where we show, and you'll see the official one pop up. So you can click that. And once you click it, you get what's called the contract ID of this token on Binance Smart Chain Network. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And it's super important wherever you are taking this contract number from to be a proper website make sure that uh, you know it has all the security and uh, like it could be coin gecko it could be the one that machine just mentioned just make sure that you are in the right website because a lot of times people get the contracts from the wrong place and bad things can happen is that right machine that is right unfortunately it's very easy to create the very similar looking tokens so this contract ID is the only way to differentiate, make sure you have the correct one. Mm, okay. So once you have the contract ID, go ahead and copy and paste. And then you go back to your MetaMask. And then under the custom token, you add token. And then you'll see three fields, token, contract address, and then two others. Just copy and paste the contract address. And then when you do that, the other two values will autofill because MetaMask is smart enough to detect, okay, this ID is USDC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So then perfect. you just click next and then add tokens and then that's it. Okay. Okay. I have so many questions, but that would be for another uh, episode. Good. <laughs> yeah. So guys, once you've done this, you basically know how to add any network to MetaMask. This time we did it with Smart Chain. Now it's just a matter of getting the information, which I will also be sharing in the links below. Okay, okay. So it, then you can apply exactly this uh, for, you know, like Polygon or for any other network you choose to do stuff, right, with. Correct. Beautiful. Anything else, Machine? That is all. See you in the next tutorial. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Hope you like it. If you find it useful, what should they do, Machine? Yeah, like our videos and also subscribe and hit that bell icon. Yeah, and let us know anything you want to know, any tutorials you want us to make. 
please just let us know and we'll be happy to do so. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.